Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be driving the E93 M3 convertible with the V8 S65 engine. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys why we chose this car as our weekend driver here in California. The E93 generation with the convertible hardtop it was the first dream car that me and Elise were interested in when we first got into cars. Uh, me and her got into cars maybe about a few years ago and we wanted to experience uh, a, a nice handling car that sounded really nice as well and also drove and handled beautifully and when we first test drove an e93 m3 at a uh, automall parkway we were able to test drive one and we were, fell in love immediately and we've always wanted one ever since i've owned a 328i a couple of them from the e90 to the f30 generations i've owned a 335i e93 as well and this was our first M car. So this M car, does it deliver, especially in 2021? This car is over 12 years old and we wanted to get something that was a good deal, but also had a lot to offer for the price. We bought this car for $18,000 used and it has over 100,000 miles on it. And I'll tell you, short answer is it's worth it. And let me tell you why. First, let's go for a drive. So the main reason you buy a car like this is for the engine. That S65 V8 naturally aspirated that revs all the way to 8600 RPMs. It's hard to find another car like that under, you know, under 20, 20 grand basically. This is purely the main reason you will buy this car. So if you're buying a car just for the engine, then you might as well get a a convertible where you can put the top down and listen to that engine so we'll drive around a little bit with the top up and I can show you guys kind of how it sounds and then we'll put the top down later and you can hear the difference the difference is dramatic still sounds good inside with the top up and windows closed you hear a little bit more of an induction noise instead of uh, instead of the exhaust noise in the back. So let's talk about the cons of the car. So most of the cons are mainly because this car is older. It's over 100,000 miles, so you're gonna have creaks and rattles on the roof, especially with the top up. You'll hear some creaks and rattles and squeaks. It doesn't bother me too much, especially if you have a louder exhaust or if you put the music up you won't notice it, but you will notice it if you're just driving in silence. That's where you put the top down and you don't hear any of that stuff anymore. So that, that helps in that regard. Another thing that I'm not a big fan of about this car is the poor gas mileage. We get about 10 miles per gallon and that's because it's a V8, but also because we're running E85. Another con is this car is very stiff and the convertible model in particular is very, uh, what do you call it, flexible. So we're going through a rough patch of road right now and you'll notice that the car likes to, it doesn't like the rough roads. You, you wanna drive this car on smooth roads. So that's part of the reason why this is not really a good daily driver car because this car suspension is just too stiff for that. Even with the EDC uh, model, which I have, where you can adjust the dampening on the shocks and struts, it's still not a very comfortable car. But you don't buy this car for luxury and comfort, you buy it because you want to experience a nice, sporty car for the weekends. Since it's a hardtop convertible, it adds a lot of extra weight. So this car is almost 4,000 pounds in weight versus the E92, which is around 3,500, 3,600 pounds. So you got a 400 extra pounds to carry around in a heavy car like this. You really feel it during handling and acceleration. But the nice thing though is with the top down, all that extra weight is in the back of the car. So it helps you get cleaner launches if you do launch control or just in general, better traction because of all the weight being in the back of the car with the top down. Another con is the expensive uh, parts. The parts for this car is expensive, aftermarket parts, upgrades, modifications. It's all expensive because of what's called an M tax. You know, it's an M car, so you're gonna pay extra money for that. When I was modding my 335i, an intake on that car was 
about a hundred and fifty dollars but an intake on this car is about five hundred and a tune on this car is a thousand dollars while a tune on the 335i was around two hundred dollars so you're going to be expected to pay a lot of money just to modify and repair that car this car it also has very expensive maintenance so you need to factor that in if you're looking to buy one you need to factor in rod bearing replacement throttle actuator spark plugs frequent oil changes and suspension repairs now that's something that i factored in when we were buying this car it was eighteen thousand dollars but the rod bearings and throttle actuators and all those haven't been done and i factored the extra cost into that now we can talk about what i do like about this car the likes heavily outweighs the cons as obviously that's why i chose this car so to talk about the likes let's put the top down takes 30 seconds or so to put the top down I'm gonna put the windows up so that you guys can hear me all right so let's talk about what makes this car so special you can probably hear it already the engine the s65 high revving naturally aspirated v8 it's a BMW's first and only v8 for the m3 models it sounds beautiful, it loves to be revved all the way to redline, and it just pulls and pulls. It's so strong up in the high RPMs. And that's the fun of this car. You get to hear that beautiful exhaust noise and that induction noise from the front. The power is very linear since it's naturally aspirated, and the throttle response is instant. There's no lag at all. It just goes when you want to. Another reason I like this car so much is the, the DCT transmission, dual clutch transmission. The shifts are so quick. Upshifting is very firm and it pushes you back in your seat on every upshift. There's that upshift noise. And then also the downshifts. The downshifts in this car are in, insane. I mean, I've never heard anything like it. Here's some downshifts for you. Yeah, it just it's, it never gets old driving this car. And that's why it's the perfect weekend car for us. You put the top down, just listen to that exhaust noise. It sounds so good. You never get tired of it. And since we have the DCT, it has a feature called launch control, which is very fun to play around with. And you know, it, it feels really good you know you feel like you're being launched in the back of a race car on a drag strip each upshift just feels so amazing when you're when you're really on the throttle Never gets old. Same with those downshifts. Another great feature that I like about this car is its reliability. It's a very reliable car as long as you keep up with the maintenance. Frequent oil changes, make sure you the oil warms up properly before you drive it hard. And make sure you get your rod bearings done, throttle actuators, spark plugs every 30,000 miles. If you keep up with your maintenance, this car will last you hundreds of thousands of miles. The DCT transmission is pretty much bulletproof. There's really no issues with it as long as you take care of it and, again, let it warm up properly. Another thing I like about this car a lot is the looks. I think it still looks great despite it being 12 years old. This, this uh, generation of M3 
you're not sacrificing the looks of the car or any modernness. It still looks modern, it still looks relevant today, even in 2021. I still think it looks just as good, if not better, than the F80, the F82, M3, and M4s, and it's even the new G, G80, M3, and M4 with those crazy big grills. It, it holds its own in the looks department. It looks classic, it looks timeless. You really can't go wrong with the looks of this car. I really love the, the hood bulge or the power dome on the V8. It's functional because it needs it to fit that four liter V8 in, uh, in front of the engine. It really differentiates itself from a normal three series. It looks more brutish and more muscular than a normal three series. From the wider arches to the hood bulge and the side grills and the quad exhaust in the rear. It's a great looking car and it's a very timeless look to it. The ultimate reason that I went with a car like this versus the newer generation M3s and M4s is because of the driving experience. The engines on the newer M3s and M4s are just too quiet. don't have the same driving feel or dramatics unlike this car where you have really nice sound naturally aspirated v8 you can't really compare that with a turbo v6 or a turbo straight six on the newer generation m cars the driving experience in this car is just so much more dramatic and you really feel like you're in a race car it just feels so fun and it sounds so great especially in california where the weather is always great year round you can put the top down anytime you want and listen to that beautiful exhaust sound of the car to me seems like there's a lot of uh, issues or things that I don't like about the car that's really not the case I love this car the pros heavily outweigh the cons it's all about the driving experience that's why you buy a car like this you can't go wrong with a top-down convertible Ex experience is second to none getting this car and I'm glad I'm able to own it at this point in my life. Our dream car, it, it feels really nice to be able to, to own one and to drive one anytime you want to. So thank you guys for sticking around the whole video and thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed and are able to understand now why I chose this car. Uh, it really is a fun driving experience and that's the main reason that you would buy a car like this is for the driving experience not for the luxury or the comfort but to be able to enjoy the drive you know to take it for nice scenic routes take it out on the weekends and enjoy it uh, i'm a car enthusiast so i'm always open to new suggestions comment down below what's another car you think me and ellie should go for next i would love to hear your guys' opinions and hopefully make a decision one day on the next car. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. And I'll see you guys on the next video.